Hi everybody, it's Brian Begley with NCloud9. We are going to go over a new topic and it's related to Copilot sales. When you're using it within Microsoft Outlook and you receive an email and you want to create a lead. Now, if you've used this in Outlook, you'll know that when you get an email from an email address that Dynamics 365 sales doesn't recognize, you have the ability to add a contact record. But let's say you're a salesperson and you are going to get an email from somebody looking for information about what what you offer and what you, what products you sell. And so this is a lead and you wanna turn this record into a lead. Well, out of the box, you can't do that. So in order to make that change, I'm gonna show you today, it's very simple, but of course you will need a system administrator to do that work for you. So find a system administrator, send them this video and ask them to make this change and uh, you'll have contacts and leads and be able to create them in Dynamics 365 Copilot for Sales real easy. So here's how you make this change. You need to actually go to Microsoft Teams. It's not inside any of the Dynamics 365 configuration applications. You actually have to go to Copilot for Sales in Microsoft Teams and when you're in there you go to settings. So I'm going to go into settings here and when it loads up I have a section called forms. In forms, it shows me all the forms that I have the ability to create in Dynamics 365 using Sales Copilot, and I can choose to add a record type. Just so you know, you can create other record types as well from here. We're gonna say, we're gonna create a lead. So I'm gonna find that, it's gonna filter the view. I'm gonna click next, and just gonna click next here. And it's gonna ask me, do you want to set a default view? And so we're gonna choose a default view for the lead record. And we're gonna say, we're gonna use the all open leads or the open leads view. I'm going to add that in. And now we're going to get a few steps that we need to add in order to make it work. So first thing we want to do is we say we want to create new records inside Copilot for sales. And it's going to say, do you want to make sure you add required fields? And of course, you're going to say continue. Then you can choose also this option, which I never knew about, but we're going to talk about what this second option of create new records by opening Dynamics 365 from a link can do. You're going to choose that and of course we're going to say we want to be able to edit records within Copilot sales so we're going to do that I have a view here these are all the fields that are in that open leads view name first name last name topic owner status reason created on a company name you can make fields required in this view so I'm going to say make the first name required Last name and topic are already required by default. So those are there for a reason. Owner, status reason, created on company name. Now, then you can add a couple of key fields. So I'm gonna choose the company name and I'm gonna choose the full name of the person I'm working with. Now, all we need to do here is click the publish button. Okay, now that that's done publishing, we're gonna go back into Microsoft Outlook. I'm gonna do a refresh, of course. Now I'm gonna go into this email. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna say, turn on Copilot for sales. Of course, I'm going to click the pin so that Copilot for sales stays open. And we're still waiting for the refresh to happen. Well, we've got a few seconds here while this loads. If you're learning something new, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel and it'll keep you updated on future tips. So once this email has loaded and Copilot for sales is loaded, I can click on this plus button and I can choose what type of record to create. I'm gonna click on the create button plus create record. And what it'll do is it'll bring open that lead form. So I'm gonna fill in the information. I'll just say Joe Adobe, interested in a new contract and we'll give it a status reason and a company name we'll say Adobe and we are going to save that and now we have created that lead in CRM and link that email that we just created to this record so let's switch over to Dynamics 365 here I'm going to go into Dynamics 365 I'm going to go to leads and let's go look at that lead that was just created there he is Joe Adobe interested in a new contract it was created today click on Joe Adobe Adobe and in the timeline we will see that email that came in from Adobe track to Dynamics 365 lead record. I do want to show you one more thing. Uh, I'm going to grab another email out of here. So I'm just going to grab another email, click on my Copilot for sales, say that I want to create a new lead for this. So I'm going to say create. Now I have another option which is called create in CRM. So when I clicked on plus create record, I was creating the lead in this window over here. But instead I can click create in CRM. 
Serum. And it's going to actually open up Dynamics 365 and I can then create my lead manually from there. And I don't know why I would necessarily want to do that. It's just there as an option. So I hope that this video has helped you. If you do have questions on best practices of Copilot for sales or Dynamics 365, please reach out to the experts at NCloud9. This is Brian Begley. Thank you very much. Have a great day.